Hi, this is Nicholas Calzada, part of the programming team at Miami-Dade College's Miami Film Festival. Today, we're going to take a deeper look into one of the award-winning films of our 37th edition. This is Cristina, from Chile. This striking directorial debut of Gonzalo Massa was this year's recipient of the Jordan Wrestler First Feature Award. Massa is an accomplished screenwriter. With This Is Christina, which he also wrote, Massa has shown that he's a world-class directorial talent as well. The film is funny. <laughs> it's supremely well acted and paced. And the characters are developed with a subtlety and attention to small detail that is nothing short of brilliant. Un padre, un stop. Poder estar... Ay, demasiado quieto. <laughs> the story centers on Cristina and Susana, two longtime friends now in their 30s, whose lives both seem to be heading towards dead ends. Christine is in the midst of a separation and slow-motion divorce, in which she and her husband easily fall back into old habits. And though she's a talented artist and illustrator, her images never quite coalesce into a story, and she feels stuck creatively. Susanna, meanwhile, is close to broke and moving back into her mother's house. She has blunt opinions about the people around her. And as a result, some of her key relationships are fraying precisely at the time she needs them the most. Both women are at a low point in their lives. But when they have an ugly fight, Nunca más en tu puta vida. matters spiral even further downward. In Christina's case, this means letting herself fall for a narcissistic, manipulative writing professor. In Susanna's, it's getting suckered into a loan to her deadbeat father, which she can little afford to give. The storytelling style, lovable, flailing characters putting themselves in deliciously awkward life situations, might remind American viewers of Noah Baumbach and Lynn Shelton. Indeed, the comedic timing of Massa and the wonderful cast he directs is impeccable and winningly offbeat. And his talent for seamlessly transitioning between humor and serious human moments, often within the same scene, is impressive. Though the characters are at a dead end, the story is always dynamic. One of the things Massa does best is dramatize their hopes and struggles. He doesn't tell us what they're going through, he shows us. Watch how much we learn about Christina's marriage through this one exchange at the dinner table. And it's all beautifully framed in black and white cinematography, inspired by the films of John Cassavetes and Jim Jarmusch. But what makes This Is Christina stand out most is the intelligence and humanity with which it explores these characters. Ultimately, this is a film about friendship. Life, it shows us, may not always turn out as we hope. But if we love and are loved by people who accept our failures and flaws, well, maybe that's just enough. <laughs>